Hello, this is Carmen from the Singer Featherweight Shop, and I want to talk to you about a common question that we get here in the shop, which is, why does my needle continue to go up and down when I'm trying to wind a bobbin? I've loosened the stop motion knob, I've pressed the bobbin winder down against the belt, but the needle continues to go up and down. So we're going to talk about how to remedy that. Uh, I've got a, another hand wheel here that we'll show you on that's off of a machine. I'm going to show you the different parts to the hand wheel. Uh, this little set screw here that goes in the stop motion knob first needs removed uh, or at least uh, turned back a couple turns so that this gets free so that you can take this stop motion knob all the way off the machine off the hand wheel and set it aside this here is the hand wheel washer it has three ears around the outside and two in the in the middle and we'll talk about that in a little bit and then this is usually where the problem uh, is at if you're having this problem with the needle going up and down. Both the hand wheel and this collar that it rides on are steel, even mo most of the rest of the machine is, is aluminum, but these two pieces are steel and, and they're prone to uh, some pitting and corroding, even rust, and they often get uh, old sewing machine oil turned to varnish on there and it'll just make it so sticky and stiff that it won't spin freely on that collar. So what you need to do is to clean that off, and there's a couple couple ways that you can do that. Uh, I usually grab what, whatever's handy. It can be a Brillo pad, steel wool. Um, in this case, I've just got some sandpaper, and I just wrap it around here and, and uh, get it off that way, and then do the same thing. Put some inside this hole, spin it around, until you've got that uh, nice and clean then maybe wipe off the residue with some kerosene and then before you reassemble it put a drop or two of, of sewing machine oil uh, on the collar itself and then the hand wheel should spin freely so that's the that's the first part of, of the fix is to is to get that cleaned off but now when you put it back together it has to go back together a certain way and th there's two ears they're in the center of this hand wheel washer and they need to be pointing uh, facing out uh, away from the machine. This, uh, this collar that it goes in has these two grooves and so it naturally looks like those those should be going in but they don't. They need to go out and what happens is when they're pressing when they're out like that and you screw the stop motion knob all the way down it presses against those two ears and it locks the machine so that uh, then when the, the belt is spinning the hand wheel that it's actually driving uh, the whole machine. If they're in, it, it often won't do that and you'll get uh, slipping there. So those that's the first part is those have to be out. But then it's got these three ears here on the outside. So when you tighten this knob down and put the the screw in, then when you go to wind a bobbin and you loosen it, this screw right here is going to hit one of those those ears. And I'm going to show you without the hand wheel in the way. So you can see what we're talking about here. We put the washer on, we tighten down the, the uh, knob here, and I just happen to, because you got a 50-50 chance, I happen to put it on the right way. So now when you tighten this screw down and it's on your machine and everything's tight and it's the machine's working fine, when you go to wind a bobbin, if you loosen this, that end of that screw will come back and hit this this little uh, ear that sticks out there and so what that that ear does is it just keeps the stop motion knob from coming completely off your machine every time you try to wind a bobbin but I'll show you what happens here if it's on 180 degrees the wrong direction if we stop it and spin it and reassemble it Now, now when it's on there tight and the screw is in, now you can see it back here, 
Now, now when we go to back up, it hits that right away and it won't loosen the knob far enough to take the pressure off the machine. And so, therefore, that can be one reason um, why everything continues to, to spin when you try to try to wind the bobbin is because you've got that that in the wrong in the wrong position. So it's important to have that so that you can get that one third turn of the of the stop motion knob every time you try to wind the bobbin. So we're going to put it back this way, and that should pretty much take care of your problem. Now. Uh, it is talked about uh, oiling these threads here, and that's the cause of the problem. However, these threads and this knob have absolutely nothing to do with, uh, with that issue of, of the needle continuing to go up and down. Uh, it will make it, maybe if you put a drop on there, it might get, make it easier to loosen this knob, but uh, that's not part of the, the functioning, functioning of the machine. Um, so really all you need to do is to put uh, clean this, put a drop of, of oil on the uh, hand wheel uh, collar there, reassemble it, and that should take care of it. Now some of these machines are old, and this, uh, well they're all old, but, uh, but some of them get worn from use. And if it gets worn and then you have a little resistance from the belt pressing on this hand wheel, Sometimes even with this clean, it still wants to make the needle go up and down just a tiny bit. And if you've got a machine that is that way and everything is assembled correctly, uh, usually just lowering your presser foot um, when you're winding a bobbin is, is adds enough uh, pressure to the workings of the machine to keep that from happening. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.